Boink. Boink. Don't know if you can get a phone number off that. Don't know. Boink Barbecue. He had his pants down and was oinking something as he passed by. If you're in... I don't even know what's that matter. I'm in uh, West Virginia. Don't eat oink barbecue. Definitely. Wow. See it all out here on the road. Man, just took a shower. See? Shirt changed after four days. Wore the same shirt for four days. Took a shower. Washed my hair. Shaved a little. Not too bad. Got breakfast. Ready to roll. I'm 709 miles from Tampa. And I gotta be there by six in the morning and I have eight hours to do it in. So I have eight hours to drive 700 miles and then I have to take a 10 hour break. So I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try. This will help. Ho ho, ho ho, is there? ho ho, ho ho. Yeah, what I was showing you in the video just before this in the clip just before this was there was a pink min, uh, a pink van passing by it was a oink barbecue pit or something restaurant the guy was driving with the shirt on no pants and he was oinking something in his hand that uh was not pork <laughs> i the strange thing is i've seen a lot of things out here on the road lots of things i, I sit 12 feet in the air so I could see down on all the cars that pass. I watch all the cars that pass for safety reasons, make sure they're not drifting into my front tire and stuff. And sometimes kids want you to honk your horn, you know, honk honk. But uh, sometimes you see other things, disturbing things, things like that. Wow, it's a whole other day. See, this is magic, the magic of editing. A whole other day. There was really nothing I could videotape yesterday, stuff to vlog. So this is going to be kind of a two-day daily vlog. A vlog that happens two times, two days. I'm here in Wildwood, Florida. Check out the flowers. Check out these flowers. It's Florida. Florida in the spring. Yeah, but I'm, I'm here in Florida. Uh, I made it all the way from Pennsylvania, from Carlisle, Pennsylvania, here to here to Wildwood, Florida in one quick shot. I shot 808 miles, boom, one day. One day driving, uh, 11 hours, it was, it was tough. I just kept my door shut, kept these doors shut, kept, kept my tractor trailer, kept my tractor door shut, and uh, was supposed to deliver this morning at 7 a.m., but I deliver in Tampa, which is another 72 miles. And uh, 800 miles is enough for me. It, it's enough in one day. So they have to reschedule. So they're gonna do that. I got one more hour of, of my break before I can even leave here. And then it's down to Tampa. And then from Tampa up to Ohio. So I, I'm moving, 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 moving. That's my job. I just move and move and move. But I, that means uh, I should be able to get something some sort of roadside attraction or something today caught on video. Not exactly sure what it is. Yesterday was a bust. Yesterday was just a bust. I, I just had to keep going and going. And I don't want to keep videotaping uh, or videotaping. Someone talked about that the other day. They go, hey, are you videotaping? No, it's, I'm, it's digital. It's not, it's not tape. Right? <laughs> that was at the rest area in a scene you've seen just before this. Sweet tea cups make great coffee cups. Mm. But uh, yeah, I'm figuring because I, I, I've seen other videos on YouTube of truck drivers and stuff like that. And all they do is they just shoot their camera out, out their steer, you know, above their steering wheel, out the road. And in most of the video, it's just seeing the road. Boom, boom. And sometimes they'll fast forward or, or time lapse or something like that. And you'll get 20 minutes of just the road. They don't get out of the truck. They don't get out and do stuff. That's where I'm trying to be different. I get out of the truck. I find something to do. Walk around. Even if it's just looking at flowers on the other side of a fence. Or or if it's a statue or something, you know. Or, or a 
no trailer parking sign. I try and do something. It's not always just driving down the road. Sometimes I will shoot a couple quick videos of that, but not always. So today, I'm going to go ahead and end this real fast at three minutes and something. And uh, I got one hour till I can leave here. I'm going to get some fuel, head down to Tampa. Let's see what we can see. So I'm going to go to Tampa, come back up I-75, head towards Ohio. Should be able to find something. I do know there is a Mr. Peanut statue in Georgia. So I'm going to try. I, I vlogged last week the giant uh, Titan rocket. So I think this week I'm going to get the giant Mr. Peanut. You got something to look forward to, guys. Before I get my truck and out of, head out of here, I have 15 minutes to kill. 15 minutes before I can leave. And I've seen something pretty amazing over here. I kind of wanted to show you guys. Farming. Farming has always intrigued me. It really has. How do you water the crops? How do you do this? How do you do that? The planting, everything else. And, and this amazes me. Not that tractor. Not that tractor. But that, see that right there? Farming sprinkler systems. I mean, some of them are super long. Like this one here, I don't, I don't know how long the sprinkler system is. How do they move it? What kind of water pressure does it take to water something like this? Like this big, wait until you see it. It's pretty amazing. Look at this. Look at this, it just got turned off. It was on. I actually pulled out of here, went down, to our second entrance and got some fuel just a second ago and this was actually on that's what made me want to document this let's see if i can walk through these flowers and on the side of the road without getting stung by a bee because i do see some bumblebees and the grass is wet because that was just on that was just on these flowers you could tell it's spring springtime in florida Check this out. Look at this. Look how long that is. This was just on a few minutes ago watering. These look like peanuts. I think they are peanuts. But look, that's long. So I guess the tractor has to connect to it somehow, but then they would run over their peanuts pulling it around. Is this all automated? Is it electric? Does it automatically go? I don't know how this thing moves and rotates, or does it move, does water pressure turn these tires? Do they use water to generate power so that rolls and rotates throughout the field? I don't know. I don't know, there's motors up there. There's a motor down here to control those wheels. Each set of wheels has a little motor, like an electric motor down here. How's it controlled? Looks like there's a satellite box or something right there too. And one up on top. Don't know, don't know how these things work. Don't know. But man, that's impressive. Impressive. It just rotates. So there must be a center point way, way, way down there. And this thing just circles around and waters this entire field. Look at that. I don't know. It's, it's impressive back before things like that existed. What did farmers do? Don't know. Look at a picture. Picture of this, look at that. Screenshot. Capture. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what farmers did before that, before this type of stuff. If you know, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. How farmers watered their field, did they, did they just let nature do it? I don't know. This road less traveled is uh, on certain days. It's a road more traveled, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they used to do back in the old days. How they watered their fields. Technology, technology's changed everything in our lives, from our automobiles, the way, the way transportation is, the way we live in our homes, to the way we get food to the tables, right there. Pretty amazing, amazing stuff. Technology's in that truck right there. Yes, it's lunchtime. 
That is on the menu. Chili, spaghetti, onions, cheddar cheese, and crackers. Can't beat that. Food in my belly. I got food in my belly. Milkshake in my belly. Hook up to a brand new trailer. No time to play around. I don't even have time to stay here for my son to bring me the stuff that came in the mail, like the new microphone and everything. So I can't get that till next week. They didn't give me no time. I got to get out of here, leave Florida. It was just a quick, just a quick stop. Couldn't do anything. Uh, now I gotta go to Iowa. Iowa, let's go. Let's head up to the truck. Let's head up. Head up to the cab after I hook up to this awesome, awesome dirty trailer. Yeah, excited. Get to keep moving, get to keep moving. Need them paychecks. Need them big paychecks. Sometimes money's not everything. I would like to kill a little bit of time. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen today. But it will happen next week. It'll happen. Let's head on out of here. See what we can find today. Do you ever just wash your windows and then never get all the bugs? They just smear. You just can't get them all. That's what happens to me quite often. to stop today and shoot some video for this vlog of a roadside attraction here in Georgia but it's just too late I really did want to stop it's an old southern frontier type town that uh, shows it's kind of like a, a lot a living heritage little town where uh, there's farmers and pioneer lifestyle show it kind of shows how people lived uh, 100 years ago maybe uh, but it's closed right now I couldn't stop so I'm probably going to sleep here wake up in the morning and save that for an almost daily vlog and then I'll start the regular vlog tomorrow heading up to Iowa leaving Georgia going into Tennessee which is something there I would like to do in Covington Georgia also because that is the Hollywood of the south and if you don't believe me google it Google it. See what TV shows and movies were filled in, or filmed in Covington, Georgia. I just don't know if I could get there uh, to the filming locations in my truck. I might have to wait until I get my motorcycle next month and then drive up here in a motorcycle and, and capture those. But uh, tomorrow in the daily vlog, I'm going to leave Georgia, go into Tennessee, um, Kentucky, maybe get up by St. Louis, and then park it, and then the next day cruise into Iowa. But uh, I am going to really try tomorrow morning to wake up and on the almost daily vlog, maybe spend an hour or two at this village. Don't know if it's going to happen. Kind of wanted to do it today. Give you guys something 
other uh, to see other than me in Tampa or me waking up in the morning or whatever. I don't even know what videos I shot today. I'm just going to slap them all together in some hodgepodge fun thing. Who knows what it's going to be. I'm going to slap it together real fast, put it out there. Hopefully you guys like it. I don't know if I would watch it, but I hope you do. I hope you guys do. But I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, daily vlog. And if you guys uh, go to Google Play Music, the Almost Daily Podcast, I, I did a new one today. It's up. It's available in Google Play Music. Just look for Glass Geek Podcast. It's there. Once again, thank my Patreon supporters, Chris, Kit or Chris Kitchen and Indian Maiden. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you for your continuing support. Uh, and like I said, please subscribe to this channel, the Almost Daily Vlog channel, and the podcast. It would be great. It would, I would love it. I would love it. Give it a thumbs up. Give everything thumbs up. No thumbs down. All thumbs up. Talk to you guys tomorrow.